Hey guys, I'm back with a new haircut and today I'm going to tell you the untold truth about Force.com database. Force.com A platform as a service that is used to develop and deploy applications on cloud. These applications are fast, scalable, secure and they run on a multi-tenant platform. For example, sales cloud, service cloud and all the custom applications that you make on Salesforce. But how many of you know that what multi-tenancy means? Raise your hands. Multi-tenancy actually means sharing the IT resources such as servers, networks, storage, etc. between all the customers and tenants of that platform in a cost-efficient and secure manner. As we all know that Force.com provides a multi-tenant architecture to store data which is exactly similar to the conventional RDBMS which is Relational Database Management System where, uh, I mean, tables are represented as objects Columns are represented as fields and referential integrity concepts which are made to I mean which are used to make relationship between the tables are represented as relationship fields. Just like this. So does that mean that whenever you create an object in force.com, a physically separate table with a dedicated storage is created in the database? And the answer is no. Whenever an object is created in force.com, it is stored as a set of metadata in force.com's universal data dictionary. Now you must be like, what is that? So metadata is the data about data, which basically means the information about how the data should be represented. So whenever we create an object or a field in force.com, we are just storing the information that how the records of this object should be represented instead of creating a separate table with a dedicated storage in the database. But if we are only storing the information about how the data should be represented, then where and how the data is actually stored? So the data which we save as records is stored in few large database tables and these records are interpreted by the runtime engine based on the interpretation of metadata. Just like this. Also, whenever we modify an object or create a new field or edit an existing one, only the metadata gets changed and then the records gets represented according to new sets of the metadata. Truly speaking, even I was unaware of it for a long time since I started my Salesforce journey. But I'll not let you unaware of it because I want you to be awesome in Salesforce. And to unfold more things like these, subscribe to Salesforce Hulk on YouTube or like the page on Facebook to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce. And if already subscribed to the channel or like the page, then do like and share the videos to all the Salesforce people out there to grow and learn with the Salesforce Hulk. So, see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.